Hey guys, it's Alita, and this week's theme on seven awesome kids is how to. So I'm gonna teach you how to make Oreo Pops. What you're gonna need is some fun little Halloween candy melts, or candy molds, Oreos, yeah, the box. Um, colored sugar, colored decorative sugar, or edible pearls. Lollipops stick, a microwave, and little chocolate drops. First, lay out all of your Oreos onto one baking tray with about two or three inches in between all of them. Once you've gotten all of your Oreos laid out on the tray, all of your candy melts into a bowl. Put them in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds on half power. Once they're out of the microwave and the time is finished, you should be able to stir them up by making, and they should turn creamy. Now, take popsicle stick, put it about halfway into the Oreo, and press down to make an indent. It'll look like this. Do this to all of them until they're all finished. Each of your Oreos, dip the melted chocolate stick into the chocolate and lay it down inside of the indent that you made with your popsicle stick. Now that you've gotten all of your Oreo sticks put inside of your Oreos, now it's time to dip it. You need to put your bowl on top of your box and poke holes in your box with your stick or an X-Acto knife so that they fit in the holes. Get into the bowl and cover the Oreo completely in candy chips once you poked all of your holes in your box. Now that you've dipped your Oreo that you wanted to decorate, make sure that you have a different decorating station with your spoon and your glitter and whatever you're going to be using. Make sure to cover your Oreo and do not let it dry. But cover it with your candy and don't let it dry because you're gonna need to apply glitter to it. Hold it over your tray and get your glitter and sprinkle it. Spread it around to whatever your preference is. Tap it off onto the tray and do however or whatever designs that you want. I'm doing one side purple and one side black in there and let it dry. Another way to decorate is to get these cute um, candy molds and fill them up with your candy with a spoon in each little mold. Once you've put your candy in, grab it by each end Tap it down to remove any air bubbles. Now stick them in the fridge for 10 to 20 minutes. Another way to decorate is to get two different colored candy chips and get your stick and dab some of the candy on there and put one on one side, putting orange on one side and brown black on the other side. So I did that. And then that. What I did here is I let it dry, and what I'm going to do is I'm taking some of the candy and I'm putting it on the side and I'm going to press it on that. So now all you have to do is dig in. Mm. If you are making these at home, before you eat them, make sure to set up your camera and post it as a video response to get a shout out next week. 